Welcome to the Daily Weather Briefing for South Texas, which includes areas from the coastal bend west of the Rio Grande. Today is Monday, October 14, 2013. Rain chances will continue today with a brief window of quiet weather for Tuesday. Heavy rainfall from Sunday night has led to rises in area creeks and rivers, and a return of rain chances are expected by midweek as a cold front approaches the area. Currently, the upper disturbance across Texas will lift to the northeast, and drier air will begin to slowly enter the area through today. Our next frontal boundary will move through the area midweek as the upper trough across the central high plains moves east. Lingering moisture will continue to lead to isolated and scattered showers and thunderstorms through the early afternoon. As drier air enters the region, only isolated development is expected into the early evening. Rain chances will then taper off from east to west. Multiple outflow boundaries from yesterday's storms sagged farther south across West Texas, becoming a sustained focus for storm development. This led to areas across the Rio Grande Plains and brush country to receive high amounts of rain. This graphic shows the storm total rainfall beginning at 7 a.m. Sunday and ending at 7 a.m. Monday. Of course, rivers are responding to all of this rain. River rises are noted along the Rio Grande at Columbia Bridge and Laredo, as well as on the Nueces at Catula and, C and Tilden. Minor flooding is expected at Columbia Bridge, with moderate flooding expected further downstream at Laredo. As for the Nueces River, moderate flooding at Catula is expected to crest this afternoon, with a second crest to near major flood stage by Wednesday morning. Downstream at Tilden, minor flooding is forecast. The upper trough across the central high plains will move farther east, allowing the associated cold front to move farther south. Chances for showers and thunderstorms slowly increase Tuesday afternoon as the front approaches, with better chances heading into Wednesday and Thursday. Locally heavy rainfall is possible as the front stalls near the region. This concludes the South Texas Daily Weather Briefing. If you have any questions or comments about this service, feel free to utilize the Contact Us link on the bottom left side of our homepage. Thanks for watching.